All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here on the review table. And the next modification we're gonna do to the new three gun rifle, which we're gonna use at the Tar Heel Challenge, the Microtech Pro-Am, as well as Memorial three gun. Those are the three big ones. And we're gonna be doing some Zoo City, uh, Carolina three gun stuff events between those two. But this is just an, a way for me to get back to being active <clears throat> and not behind a desk all the time. So anyway, one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, upgrade the uh, safety selector switch. This is an ambi safety selector switch provided by the guys over there, Armaspec. Okay. Uh, first of all, for anybody over there at the wonderful world of YouTube, I'm not installing anything. I'm not uh, showing any breakdown or anything. This is basically me doing a little show and tell on this guy right here, and I'm not trying to sell it. So, what previously we had on there was this guy here. This is the Strike Industries. Uh, this is their ambi selector switch and I run these on pretty much almost every one of my really cool rifles that I uh, because they just the lower parts kit comes with some really neat stuff and back in the day when Big Daddy Unlimited was still running around uh, I, I was able to get a bunch of these at a good deal all right so what's the difference let's go ahead and open this up uh, it does come with a torque wrench which is pretty cool by the way check this out man got this little deal here this is pretty cool uh, this is for a lot of really neat small things that you need to uh, screw together and then I ended up having to buy a whole new selection of these guys as well as these guys this is one's metric one's uh, SAE and one is Torx so the Torx just came in these are really cool to have and I run them in conjunction with the Borka set that was sent out to me uh, by X-Ring channel really cool dude okay so anyway let's take a look at this thing and my first thoughts are i like it uh you do have a bigger little deal here a thumb maybe maybe not yeah it's just a little bit bigger uh so my <laughs> first initial thought is i'm a little concerned maybe that you're going to have an inadvertent pull off a of safe uh or you may dump it in the bucket it could go off a of safe or you could put it on safe when you're trying to fire that's why you train that's why you get out there you shoot 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 and you take care of things so my buddy griffith uh sent this out to me and he said you really want to use the spring and detent kit here so that you can uh experience the full pleasure of this guy now you can set it up like it says here 45 degree and a 90 degree so you can do straight up and down i like to run safety and then just a click switch up here Every time I'm transitioning from different uh, shooting areas in the box, okay, or on a stage, I always go to safe because you don't want a negligent discharge, but that'll send you home real quick. Especially if you're running a 2011, man, the triggers are really light on those things. And I've been known to pop one off every now and then. Uh, last year I was at a three gun and I was dumping my shotgun in the barrel and I went like this. And as I was coming back, I was going to put it on safe and I went, boom. Now here's the rule. If your point of impact for that shotgun shell, rifle round, pistol round is more than 10 feet away, uh, or it does not go over to berm, it's, they don't treat it as a DQ. Uh, but it's been close on a couple times. So anyway, uh, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to take that lower receiver that you saw yesterday on a three gun rifle. I'm going to go ahead and install this thing and let's see what it looks like of course you know with the wonders of the beautiful people over there at youtube you can't do any of that on video uh if you want rumble i've got the full detailed plus all the wonderful hacks that i've done on how to put your ar lower together so if you're interested in that there's a link to rumble down below and you can check that out so let's get started here stand by all right, so I got these things zeroed in all the way. Now, this is the detent spring, or the detent that came with the Strike Industry stuff. And this is the one that came with the guys over there at Armaspec. There is a noticeable difference on the tip. And when I say just the tip, I mean just the tip, right? So there, I just wanted to point that out real quick. I haven't noticed any differences in the spring, but let's go ahead and install this thing. We've got the selector switch on. I like it. Uh, let's see what it looks like when we get it all put together. Stand by. All right, we got this bad boy put in there. <clears throat> and, and again, like I said, with no modifications were shown on the camera. Uh, we're not showing you how to modify a gun with any kind of anything crazy. So again, so the lords over there at the YouTube land, please keep that in mind. But I want to show everybody uh, a couple things. I like it. 
uh, this edge right here, these edges are really aggressive. So get used to that. That's going to be rubbing up on your thumb. Uh, but I need it to be aggressive because I want to be able to feel it. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Um, if anybody, I did not put blue Loctite on this yet. I will because I'm going to break this entire rifle down and clean the whole system. Uh, we are running, like I said, JP silent capture spring in there and cleaning is what we're going to do. So <laughs> with that being said, just a simple video, good product. I can't wait to use it. Uh, we're going to take this guy out and shoot it out to about 600 yards, see what it's going on. Because that's how far we're going to be shooting these days. These guys setting up these uh, three gun events. It's mostly all the same people and they are not going to make it easy. Uh, I know Donnie Flo is running the Pro-Am along with uh, the guys over there at Microtech, Mr. Ray Helms. And then we've got the uh, Tar Heel, that is all Donnie Flo and Mike Sexton, and then Memorial 3-Gun, and that's the guys over there from Zoo City. So <laughs> yeah, they're gonna make it fun for us. So with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Oh, by the way, made in the USA. Just want to put that out there. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.